Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. I, um, okay, well, I may have hinted. Maybe I totally told Kyle that I wanted this. Anyways, he went online, ordered it for me, and now it's here. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. Da -da -da. The Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection from Morphe. I was so excited when Jaclyn Hill launched this. Um, Jaclyn Hill is one of my favorite YouTubers, which you probably already know because I talk about her all the time. I absolutely love her original Morphe palette, which I use constantly. So for her to come out with four new smaller palettes, I was just stoked and I knew I had to have them all because they're all beautiful. So Kyle ordered these for me. They got here yesterday. I swatched them on my Instagram last night with my kids. Here's the Dark Magic palette. These colors, this one especially, so beautiful. And look at this one, how unique is that? And the black has glitter in it. Oh no, I just stabbed that with my nail. This is the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and here are the swatches. It is so buttery and creamy and beautiful. And this one's Ring the Alarm. I think this might be my favorite palette. These colors are beautiful. Yeah. This reddish pink, oh my goodness. And this pink with gold in it. I lied, I think this one might be my favorite, this Bling Boss. Oh my goodness. Look at this color at the end. It's so shimmery and beautiful. Uh -huh. And this purple. So since there are four palettes in this collection, I've decided I'm gonna do one look with each palette. So today I started with Ring the Alarm, which is this beautiful palette right here. It's already a mess because I've swatched it and used it on my eyes. And uh, I gotta say, it made for a beautiful eye look, which you can see here. So I'm starting with this palette and then I'm gonna do three more videos using each of the other palettes. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of those. And uh, I'm gonna get right into doing this look. To prep my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer. And just put that all over the lid. And I like to just dab my finger over it to spread it out. So I'm not going to set my eyelid today. You can if you feel more comfortable with that. But I'm going to go straight in with the eyeshadows. I'm going to start with Rush. This color right here because it's the lightest matte in the palette. It still looks a little dark for transition color so I'm really going to tap it off. And I'm going to start placing that in my crease. So I find when you're using shadows right on top of a primer, especially if it's a sticky primer like this one, it's easier to go in and kind of pat the color where you want it and then start blending it. Because if you just go in and try to blend it, the stickiness of the primer can kind of cause your brush to skip and not move as nicely. I'm going to quickly dip into Dark Magic, which is the, the kind of greenish palette. I'm just going to use this color right here, which is Poof. I just need a light shadow to blend out the top edge of this and under my brow bone and this color is going to work perfectly for that. It just kind of diffuses the edges of the transition color and it covers up the primer that's under my brow bone. It's also great for right here. I got a little bit too much orange pigment there so I'm just kind of wiping some of that away with this lighter color. Next I'm going to dip into this shade right here which is Siren. I'm taking a bit smaller of a brush this time. Again tapping off the excess. I'm going to start bringing that in the outer corner and into the crease as well. Dipping back into the first color I used on the same fluffy brush. Just going to go over the edges of that to help diffuse it. Now I'm going to dip into this color over here which is called Framed and I love that this has kind of a purpley undertone to it. It's really beautiful. I'm going to focus that mostly on the outer corner to really deepen it up. That color is so pretty. So I'm gonna be doing a cut crease with this look because I really want this red, beautiful bomb ass red. Bomb ass is the name. I want this to be really prominent on my lid. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer, my Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and cut out the crease. Going back into framed, and just blotting out the edge of the concealer with that. Start blending it. 
before I go in with the lid color. And bomb ass on the lid. This color is so stunning. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously obsessed with this color. It's such a unique color. It's not like fire engine red. It's got a bit of pink to it and it's just stunning. Like obsessed with this color. I'm gonna go finish up my face off camera and I'll be back to finish up the eyes. To finish off the look, I'm gonna bring Rush under my lash line. And then I'm gonna dip into Siren again and bring that along the outer corner. And then just a touch of Framed. Again, just in that outer corner. Now since there's no real highlighting shade in this palette, I'm actually going to dip into the original Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. I'm going to use this color right here which is in light and that's going to go on my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm going to use a black eyeliner. This one's the Vintage by Jessica Liebskin Smoky Eye Pencil in black. I'm going to do my waterline and I'm going to tight line with this. For mascara I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and then I'm going to pop on my Kiss Number 11 lashes. I think with such a bold red eye I'm going to finish it off with a nude lipstick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped. Okay once again I have to say how obsessed I am with this red color. It's so insanely beautiful. I think this would look really good paired with some of the purples from the Bling Boss palette. Like doing some of this and maybe a little bit this, a little bit this. I think this red would be really versatile. You could definitely even do it with more of a brown or black smoky eye. I think it's just so stunning. Definitely different than anything I've ever seen. So pretty stoked about that. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because I will be coming out with three more videos on this collection. So keep an eye out for those and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.